Well, hello there. I suppose that I should go ahead and give myself an introduction, since this is uh, one of the first requested videos that I'm performing. And this one, I am doing a Buddha build in Elden Ring, a Soulsborne game. If you're not familiar with Soulsborne, uh, this is not the video that, uh, that I'm going to do an explanation. Um, but there's plenty of information on the internet. Elden Ring, it's a game. I play it on PlayStation 5. It's pretty fun. I would recommend it for those who are interested. So, one of the, the things about my Buddha that I wanted to point out is it's very tanky. Uh, you know, Buddha, as a, as a deity, it's supposed to be pretty resilient so I tried to max out uh, as much as I could obviously I'm not uh, I'm not the most uh, sorry, yeah. and mostly doing a lot of like belly belly flops uh, I do have some flame incantations on and go over stats so uh, very high vigor and high faith thought that was very apropos for buddha as well as high endurance you know resiliency goes into it uh, my dexterity is at 40 primarily so that i can have the fastest casting speed available uh, there is dexterity affects your casting speed and with the addition of this oops here radigan icon as you see is a legendary talisman depicting the elden lord radigan which shortens the casting time of sorceries and incantations pretty useful uh the exact number i believe and please feel free to check me on this you you know you're on the internet <laughs> and i believe it adds about 30 digital dexterity so um, that adds into your casting speed, which, as I mentioned before, add it with the 40 actual dexterity that I have, uh, allows me to cast my spells at the fastest rates. Um, it's actually very, it's actually pretty noticeable, so let's see. Oh, oops, wrong, wrong spell, but as you saw, I was, I was, I kinda went from that one to this. It's a little bit quicker, like, and it's definitely when, you know, like, you just do a quick tap and you're out of juice like I am, you get to, you know, scratch your head and look a bit foolish, but when you refill, <laughs> easy day. Now, one of the downsides, of course, to having my mind so high at 40 uh, is that the Cerulean Tear Flask does not completely refill all of my mind mana, which in this game is called FP. Uh, you think the flask refills up to 200. There are talismans to affect that, that you could do a little bit more refilling if you want to go that route, but I'm going to go ahead and get into my equipment. I uh, went over the stats. So I'm using the Iron Ball with Endor, specifically for Endor. Uh, I probably fight with it. I think it's kind of fun to just smack people with a little bit of an Iron Ball on your fist. Uh, don't really go out of my way for damage in that sense. Uh, this Flame Art Sword Spear is actually not what I usually have on here. As a Buddha, um, I feel like a Ground Pound is apropos. So this has actually been the weapon that I had been using. Um, and I have it in like a different weapon as well, but specifically the Holy One. The Holy One does the most damage. The non-Holy One costs less, uh, but it does not do the Holy Damage. And I just feel, as again, Buddha, Holy Damage, just kind of goes with it. Um, and then the Coated Swords. Uh, I do not have the, uh, the, um the dragon smithing stones required to bring these to the highest levels possible but i had some money enough to at least bring them up to as high as possible without with that and then moving into the equipment so i'm wearing the fire prelate helm to just kind of give me a little buddha head and then of course the buddha body provided by the big honking lionel's armor benefits that go along with that are the physical damage negation so 
uh, on the right side, you see defense slash damage negation. That shows you like what your defense numbers are, as well as the percentage of damage that is negated. So as you see, 47.24 for physical, for example, that means that only 52 point, what's that, 753, uh, quick, you know, mental math. Um, so might be wrong, <laughs> but only 52% of the damage, 52.6% of the damage is coming through. Extra 52.7%. I don't know. I don't know why I said six. 52.7% of the damage is coming through. Anyway, moving on. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, some of the things that I have equipped. <laughs> the swarm pot, more so for fun. I just kind of uh, recently was telling someone about swarm pots, and I had never used them, so. I want to try and use them. Uh, the pickled turtleneck, as again I mentioned, Buddha being known for his patience. I want to be able to run around and you know chase down enemies <laughs> as needed, and just be patient with them. So this will allow me to have that stamina recovery, as well with my gigantic stamina bar. I should, for the most part, catch everybody. Uh, and then last but not least, just the tier because I'm gonna be up to invade. So holy for more damage and aquiline for less damage taken. So holy tier for more damage given out. Oh no, not the volcano manor. Dang. Oh man, I saw that coming. <laughs> Couldn't get my Endor off. I was not uh, expecting my iframes to <laughs> go out so quickly. I should have tried to buff while I was in my iframes and then unleash the attack. <laughs> fun, fun time, fun times. Um, did I go over my talismans? I was still going through my talismans uh, and equipment. So the Godfrey icon enhanced charge spells and equipment. As you saw that uh, particular spell that I cast is a charge spell so you can see that there's a difference in speed and the amount and the way that it comes off so that's just charging i don't think you know if you're english speaking i need to define what charging means the dragon crest great shield talisman which enormously boosts physical damage negation by quite a significant amount as well as the fox canvas talisman which is more so just uh for additional damage d uh, given out by incantations Okay, looks like I'm going into another invasion. That was a bit unexpected. I wasn't expecting to go into one so quickly. Oh. Well. Got a double kill, so that was fun, but I didn't kill the host. Uh, okay. Anyway, um, as you can see, the get off me button um, in this is the Wrath of Gold, which is specifically the spell of choice um, that I'm going with. Outside of the Golden Slam, which I had not um, had the opportunity, was not able to find an opportunity to use it there. I also accidentally cast a Golden Vow in there that was unnecessary. When they're quick like that, it's a bit harder for me to get a better grasp on, as I'm not, as I mentioned before, I'm not the most adept, I may not have mentioned this, I'm not the most adept Souls game player. I uh, was initially introduced to Soul game in From Software Games, it's a developing company, with a game called Bloodborne. It came out eight years ago, I think I got it about seven or six years ago, and... It was amazing. It is amazing. I shouldn't even say it was. I still play it literally probably after I finish this. <laughs> so to this day, the game is still, you know, on the on the playlist, although it, there was a bit of a hiatus as I'm not much of a gamer. Moved on to Elden Ring, is you know, same developer and also great game. Um, you know, don't want to go into to it into it too much. I'll probably, you know, make other videos with 
you know, me playing Elden Ring. I don't play a lot of games, so most of my videos will be about the same thing. There are already videos on my channel of me playing Elden Ring and just having fun in general. All right, great, I can do that now. Uh, and then I'll also, you know, as I go along, I'll figure out how to, you know, do a little bit better with some of these uh, editing so that way you won't see me just jumping around trying to waste time while I wait for while I wait for uh, input from you know another co-oping party that I can join in <laughs> sorry you get away from me all right. Now, the Black Flame Tornado is extremely OP, especially for the stats that I have, which is one of the reasons why I didn't use it before. Uh, it definitely has that one-shot potential uh, when you're doing player versus player, PvP. However, I don't know, I guess I don't have a good reason to not use it, other than I don't feel like Buddha would use a sword spear that way. Maybe, and I, I actually put it on a different weapon, so that way I could kind of like, ah, oh, I feel like this looks more staffish to kind of go with, uh, with the priest, with the priestly Buddha look. Uh, but off we go to another invasion, and probably the final invasion of this video. I'll keep this one short, as I just want to do a bit of an introductory. Oh, they're running away. Come back here. Aloha, friends. Good reach. I didn't think that would have reached me there. But, alas. Good win. <laughs> As you get smacked by a fly. Alright, anyway. That is the build. I didn't get a chance to use the swarm pot at all. Or um, really go through a very long fight. But I'll add some extra fights. Just sort of uh, as they come up. It'll make it a little bit easier for you guys. Um, I look forward to doing more video series like this, um, and I say you guys, I don't actually have followers or anything yet, but for those of you in the future who are watching this video, enjoy, and I hope that this series branches off and becomes something worthwhile for you to watch, and is very entertaining. <laughs>